Hey YouTubers and uh, fellow ministers of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, today I wanted to do a little discussion on discerning truth from error. What I want to say is, first off, is that we use the scriptures, the Holy Bible, to um, test, help us, to help us test the spirits and to know what is of God and what is not of God. Now I've noticed that Satan gets in uh, and tries to deceive people, um, especially today on the internet where you have a lot of uh, so-called Christians and believers that get these different uh, uh, teachings in their head about what's of God and what isn't of God. I did a video the other day where I was talking about uh, uh, listening to the Lord Jesus Christ. And I was talking about um, doctrines and theology of oftentimes, um, you know, from an intellectual perspective, confusing people. Because the only way that we can know the truth is have the Lord... Jesus Christ in us, and he reveals truth to us through his Holy Spirit as we walk and listen to him. So, um, I had uh, one particular man uh, um, talk about um, doing away with the Bible, that uh, the Bible was uh, anti-Christ. It was... Uh, uh, which really would run uh, counter to what I was saying in my video, my last video that I did about, um, I called it half-truth, talking about salvation and then following Christ. Um, so it's just amazing to me how the deceiver uh, deceives people and twists um words of the saints to try to um, throw people off course of truth. <clears throat> so it's very important to be able to hear and know the Lord Jesus Christ personally to have him reveal all truth to us and it will always reflect the scriptures which is like a I describe as a technical manual but you have to have the car um, in order to understand what the scripture is talking about and uh, it's it's just amazing how the butcher the devil gets in and uh, tries to destroy truth that's uh, being put out on the internet specifically now um, another thing I do is I like to um, what I call um, bootleg the gospel um, of the Lord Jesus Christ and I say the bootleg the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ being is that um, I guess what that means is, and this was uh, my associate called it this Reverend Waters um, bootlegging the gospel is I guess what he means is not coming out of a formal seminary and have a formal um, uh, agenda, a formal sermon, but just speaking from the heart. Um, now, to me, that would be pure distilled truth directly from God. So it wouldn't be bootlegging it at all. Actually, bootlegging it would be to try to assimilate things intellectually and teach people uh, like out of the scriptures that would be more of a bootleg than um, hearing directly from the Lord and having him directly reveal truths to you and um, and speaking it um, <clears throat> now a little bit of my background I um, I did six years in street ministry Studied under uh, Dr. Gross, D.D., Th.D., Ph.D. in Baltimore City. 
uh, later I uh, moved away, moved over to Maryland's Eastern Shore and uh, tried to fit in with churches and I never felt that I could really fit in with churches and I couldn't understand why. When I would explain things that I saw in the city or things I experienced in Christ, people would say, oh, we've heard of that, but they never experienced them themselves. And what I've discovered is, is because probably, to make a general statement, most of those people really did not know him. They practiced church. They um, had Bible preached at them and that type of thing, but they never had any spiritual experience, which are in the Bible, that they experience themselves. And that's an indicator of, of spiritual death to me. You, you will have experienced the things in the scripture um, if you're truly the Lord's. And I discovered in my life, because I had uh, severe learning disabilities that held me back from college and success in the world, that... Um, the things that I experienced in my life, I'd go back and there it would be in the scriptures. And so I could never say that I was trying to uh, conform myself to the scriptures, conform myself to Christ's likeness, uh, and therefore I'm called and I'm a minister because it worked. It worked in the uh, totally opposite direction. The Lord Jesus Christ would reveal truth to me, and then there it would be in the scriptures, because it's a living, personal, real relationship in him. <clears throat> so that's the first thing I wanted to, to say. And the other thing that I that I wanted to say is that the Lord had revealed to me um, why I had my heart attack on my 20 years in the military, as many of you know that have watched my uh videos, had a near-death experience, I had Lord Jesus Christ pressing up next to me, uh, but I didn't understand as to why. And of course, the hospitals would say, well, uh, you know, you're out of shape or you smoked or they try to come up with scientific reasons as to uh, why, uh, why, you know, your body uh, had a cardiac arrest. Uh, which in my case was a, a thrombus in the main part of the heart, but yet my arteries were clear everywhere except in that main place, that main piece of plaque that stopped my heart that day. But my neuropsychologist came closest to the reason that uh, I had my heart attack. And the reason I had my heart attack, I truly believe, is because of persecution of the world, rejection, constant rejection of the world, even higher education, um, you know, whatever the world measures success in. And it was so frustrating to me. I was 46 years of age. I had come off of uh, Operation Door Freedom mission stateside in Fort Bragg. I had become a deacon in my church past the deacon and elders uh, program. Um, I did better than anybody else there because the Lord spoke through me to those men in the class. But yet, um, yet uh, they asked me, what are you trying for elder? And I was shocked at their reaction um, and recognizing uh, um, in my recognition the Lord within me. Oh, they recognize the Lord within me. Uh, but uh, I dare say that it was a threat to their uh, position, to their establishment. And I never understood these things. Here, uh, I'm going to hold up something on the wall here. This is a uh, Marine certification that, that I had to have in the Army. Uh, for my job um, <clears throat> as a dual status technician, hanging it up here, excuse me. Um, and we had to keep going to schools. And every time I'd go to school, 
Uh, I'd either do very, very well, like I did in uh, utility equipment school, for instance, uh, refrigeration, uh, air conditioning for uh, specifically, but yet I would bomb out of the uh, of the Army classes. And uh, I think it was, um, I think it was a personal thing uh, based in pride, the instructors. Um, for instance, I, uh, I was in the Coast Guard, as many of you know, and I struggled in that too. And uh, when I was in the class, the guy was saying, oh, he'd have been a chief in the Coast Guard. He'd have been this and that, the Army uh, instructor. And I kind of smiled, and he saw me smiling and asked, uh, why are you smiling? And the cla classroom all yelled out, well, he was in the Coast Guard. Uh, he said, I got your number. And, uh, and I never passed that course, which was like a quarter semester of college. Uh, I saw it in the workplace, no matter what I did, no matter how well I performed. Um, the lowest, the guy that would... Uh, the, the um, the guy that um, would slobber <laughs> uh, down his chin type of person the um, the uh, the no account the 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 man that uh, bless his heart didn't have hardly any intellectual prowess or academic ability was lifted up above me constantly um, despite I would uh, really put my nose to the grindstone academically and and I was a good mechanic and the, and the one particular supervisor I had had pleasure in watching me uh, and watching me be be belittled by other people he liked to put me in that position to abase me. Um, and I experienced this in school, um, even with a lot of people that were close to me many a times. And I could never understand why can't I fit in? Why can't I succeed in the world? And um, it's because of uh, Satan. They're agents of Satan agents of the devil and they come against you the spirit of christ that was within me <coughs> excuse me getting over a cold here um the other thing that i came to realize was the reason i had my heart attack in my 20 years is because of this type of persecution because it weighed so heavy on my heart i Asked the Lord to uh, to help me to get through engineering school again, and I told him I was just so tired of the struggle in the world to try to get my engineering license, try to get promoted, this type of thing. I was a staff sergeant. I was trying for E seven, um, and the Lord just uh, next thing I know, I was uh, I was dead. My heart stopped after I prayed that prayer and it's not because of um it's not because of anything else but because the um my soul the anger the stress the fueled by the memories of injustice weighed so heavy on my heart by 46 years of age my physical heart just couldn't take it and uh stopped so here I am today doing uh, videos on the internet <clears throat> about the Lord Jesus Christ. Now I have managed to get myself uh, accredited as a clinical chaplain uh, because of the six years I did in street ministry under Dr. Gross. Um, and I grew up in the uh, Reformed Church uh, PCA church and I was taught good Bible doctrines and how things work this type of thing so I really did and I did a lot of studying on my own as well so I really did kind of earn um, well I did earn 
an honorary doctorate. Actually, I got a couple of them. But, um, but never mind all that. The world says, what seminary did you go to? What, you know, like I just said, accreditation. What accreditations do you have? And I can understand that because there's so many people that do not preach Christ and do not um, understand the scriptures well enough to even be talking about or trying to train other people, trying to lead other people. You know, to be in leadership, uh, you have to be given that authority of the Lord. And a lot of people put themselves into it. So when I talk about bootlegging the gospel, it's not bootlegging at all because it's that um, that uh, pure truth is uh, is uh, dripping right right into my soul, and I try to speak it on the internet. But many people are deceived because they don't know him and they don't know their scriptures. And um, and this does great harm to people that are searching. So it's important to know that you're called and to be able to um, discuss uh, on a uh, doctrinal level where you're coming from. Uh, this is why they have accreditations and all, of course. But um, I've been very fortunate because <clears throat> Dr. Savage, Dr. Weiser, Dr. Gross, um, to name a few, have um, have uh, lifted me up because they know I'm speaking the truth of God as God has revealed things to me. But if you follow Christ in your heart, it really does cost you. It really does cost you because you will be continually challenged by the world and even a lot of people in systematic theologies that are threatened by the things that you say because it's that sword that double-edged sword of truth it cuts it cuts deeply into people um, and you're going to get a reaction from it the Lord told me years ago he was going to give me the gift of the sword but to be careful I use it or I would cut myself to ribbons because it's a double-edged sword and so following Christ and preaching Christ and explaining Christ is no gain for, for um, juniors. It's only, it's only for people called and chosen of him that are given uh, wisdom as elders to, uh, to speak of him. The rest of us should be learning and growing in the Holy Spirit, in our understandings, spiritually, not just intellectual understanding, so that Christ may expound deeper truths to us. Well, that's about it today. Uh, I'm hoping that this helps somebody, and please don't be deceived nowadays by people that um, want to toss out the Bible or um, or make the Bible the Word of God and nothing else is. There's a balance there. Jesus Christ lives within us and the Bible will always reflect His nature. We can always hold ourselves up against the Bible to measure uh, truth from error. God bless y'all. Good night.